this is Becky DeWitt, and we're still on the adventure from the book, He Keeps Me. Well, today, the word is, he keeps me standing. I like that, meaning that I ain't moving. No matter what it happens, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, hallelujah, I will not be shaken. I found a scripture in Psalm 55 and 22 in the voice version. It says, he will not allow his righteous to be shaken. That means he's taking care of me no matter what happens. Hallelujah. We know that scripture. All things work together. What is that? Romans 8, 28. All things work together for the good of them who are called. Hallelujah. And mainly we always focus on all things work together for the good. No matter what happens, it's going to work out. Hallelujah. No matter what the attack, you will come out. Hallelujah. You know, you're going to have victory simply because of the fact that you belong to the most high God. Hallelujah. So let me read this to you that I found in the amplified version. And it really blessed me today. And we know with great confidence, hallelujah, that God is deeply concerned about us and causes all things to work together as a plan for good for those who love God to those who are called according to his plan and purpose. One of the things I got out there, okay, here we go. And we know with great confidence. Hebrews 10, 35 said, don't throw away your confidence. Don't throw away your confidence in God. Hallelujah. Don't cast it away. Don't fling it away. Keep your confidence. Hallelujah. You know why? Because the word of God says in Hebrews 10, 35, there is great recompense of reward. Whoa, recompense. Recompense, you know what recompense is? Payment. That means the enemy got to pay you. Hallelujah. He got to pay you for the loss. He got to pay you for the harm. He got to pay you for what you went through or what you're going through. Oh, the big payback. Mm. Pause commercial. Transparent moment. Enemy attacked my body recently. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the night. I said, okay. I said, well, I'm not coming out empty handed because I know I'm coming out. You got to know you're coming out. You got to know that you're not going to be standing still in the midst of the attack. Worship, pray. Uh, I said, Lord, give me a revelation. And he did it. I'm not coming out empty handed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because I didn't give up my confidence in the God that I serve. Hallelujah. And then I found this other scripture in Psalm 62 and 2. Still in the voice version. It's speaking to me today. The word that I speak to you. They are spirit and a life. John 6, 63. Okay. And this word says, he is my rock, my deliverance, my citadel. Oh, a citadel is a high tower. Okay. Impenetrable fortress. Glory to God. You ain't getting through because he my edge. Hallelujah. High on a hill. And then it says, I will not be shaken. Okay. So he keeps me standing. Hallelujah. Guess what? Because I know all things go work together. Because whatever is going on, it's going to work together. It's going to work for my good. I'm not coming out empty handed. Hallelujah. I'm coming out better than I went in. I'm coming out with revelation. I'm coming out with lessons learned. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because he's got a plan. Guess what? And at the end of the day, problem solved. Hello. (laughs) I'm excited about this for the day. Glory to God. He keeps me standing. I will not be shaken. Don't you move. Don't you move. Stay right there. Keep your confidence in the creator. This is Becky DeWitt. I know this is a little bit long today, but you know what? He keep me standing. Have a great one.